Hi, it's Mark Cohen from Moves Marketing and PR, the editor of Punchline Magazine, and welcome to Punchline Talks. Today I'm at Ethical Addictions and with the head bean, Ian Hi, Meredith. Fantastic to see you again, mate. Wow, we look at this place. Congratulations. Why have you invited me here today? Well, today's our launch party. We've uh, just opened our brand new coffee roastery. So we've been uh, roasting since 2006, 2007. Um, but we actually just moved to a whole new premises here in Staverton, just outside Cheltenham. And uh, yeah, we've just got a new place, we've been renovating it, and now we're ready to go. Yeah. Now, I've known you quite some time, actually. Yeah. I think we've met God, a long time ago. ago. You, yeah. were young, you were a young chap at the time. And I've just seen your business grow and grow. You know, it's, uh, it's such a success story. Anyway, can you tell us about the beans and stuff here? We've got yeah. the raw product over here. So, so where, did, where did they come from, the coffee beans? So we work, uh, we work out in Tanzania, in Brazil. Yeah. And, uh, and Colombia, and then we work with farmers and small communities. We import the coffee beans here, which is all the sacks that you see around you, and then we roast them here in Gloucestershire. Okay, so this is, so this our, is the coffee. Our, our big roaster. Uh, the, the coffee beans go in the top. We preheat the drum so that it gets up to about 200, 210 degrees, and then we'll roast the coffee, controlling the, uh, the air temperature, controlling the airflow, controlling the speed of the drum. And then when it's roasted, it drops out into this big cooling tray. You get this uh, rotating round, big fans drawing lots of air down to make sure the coffee cools as quickly as possible so we can maintain the temperature. And then once it's, once it's roasted, we take it over to the production area and uh, past all the big racking and all of this. And then this is our production area where we'll sort of bag it, weigh it, uh, weigh it, bag it, label it and so on. And if people need it ground, we can ground it as well. And then this is where you'll get uh, all the different coffees stored and ready to pack oh god that looks absolutely fantastic can i pick it up yeah don't <laughs> maybe not oh, you can smell smell. smell that that is absolutely gorgeous so how many people work for you now ian so there's six of us full time here that are uh, roasters packers or uh, maybe trainers as well because we install equipment and help coffee coffee shops set up and whatever and so we're out and about all the time with customers um, but obviously then the production team are in here roasting coffee and packing bags and taking orders. Because you're, uh, you're a wholesaler, aren't you? And you ship yeah. it from all over the country and abroad as well? Yeah, so about 40% of our customers are here in, in, in Gloucestershire, uh, in, and, in and around Gloucestershire on the borders. And then uh, I think because of the uniqueness of what we do, we do get a reputation beyond the, beyond the, the region and we get customers... Uh, yeah, up in Scotland and London, South West and, and, and all over, yeah. Uh, can I ask what your turnover is at the moment and what is your best selling product? Uh, so our turnover is about uh, £750,000 a year uh, and our, our biggest sellers are espresso beans that go into uh, coffee shops and restaurants and hotels. It's, yeah. Ian, it's such a fantastic success story. Congratulations Thanks and it's much. been great watching you on your journey.